All right, we are back with another episode of 90s Noise. I'm April, born 1991. And I'm Ashley, born 1988. So we just want to thank everyone for listening to our episode. And we want to remind everyone that we do have a Patreon account that you can find a link to either in our show notes for each episode, or you can find a the link to it on our Instagram, which is 90s Noise. And we have a great deal for $3 a month. You have access to all of our videos of all of our episodes, all of the exclusive interviews that we do with all of our guests. You also will have access to a couple of fun bonus episodes each month, um, either related to a past episode or just something random that we decided to do. So we would love it if you would go on and support us in check that out Um, also remember to follow us on instagram and of course leave us a review wherever you listen to your podcast whatever platform that is leave us a review we would love to hear from you we really do appreciate all of your support and we will definitely shout out any reviews that we get don't be afraid send us some messages on instagram we love talking to people and hearing feedback and yeah we would love to hear from you I'm talking in the library. Oh my gosh. Did you ever have that issue? Probably, but I wasn't the cause of it. (laughs) (laughs) You weren't the cause of it. (laughs) That's funny. Back to school. Back to school. Well, no. So (laughs) have you ever, we're going really off tangent from 90s, but have you ever um, watched the musical I think it's Grease too. If I did, it was like once, like when it came out. But okay. I don't even know that I could tell you anything about it. One of the songs, like one of the first songs. Is it called Back to it. School? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's why I've been like, woo. Back to school. We are in the month of August. And it is back to school time for everybody. And you know, as a kid, this is probably a nice, enjoyable month. But as a working adult, I hate seeing all the buses and cars back on the road. (laughs) You know what I mean? Like, okay, so I've got it's a love hate relationship because, on one hand, being here in Florida, back to school means that it's actually not quite as crazy. In a sense, I feel like because we don't have as many tourists, at least over here on this side. Oh. (laughs) Whereas summer, it's just bombarded with tourists. Because I'm by the beach. And so being closer to the beach, everybody, everybody in their dock is like, hey, let's go. We actually had been talking about this. We were actually excited for people to go back to school oh wow mm-hmm. what <laughs> yeah because truly we were we want the traffic like yes it is still crazy traffic because people aren't taking the holidays all that kind of stuff but it's more consistent mm-hmm. and it's not a oh what t- okay so we know morning rush hour is morning rush hour with getting to work and going to school Mm -hmm. but during the summer that never dies yeah you have a point yeah but it does depend on the area yeah it does depend on the area i mean like for us probably in florida it is probably a bit heavier but i'm sure if you lived in like certain towns of ohio or kentucky like it's probably not you know what i mean or kansas it's not gonna be that same vibe so i mean it actually yeah it was the opposite because like back in the midwest it was, oh, uh, because we lived in a college town. So oh. it was like, oh, uh, the college kids are coming back. People <laughs> who don't know how to drive, all this kind of thing. Oh, yeah. But down here, now, like, over for you, Orlando, that's just constant tourism. Right, no matter the time of year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But at least over here with being more closer to the beach and everything being more of a beach area for me, it, I saw it up in the panhandle too. It is very 
summer is crazy spring break and summer Mm -hmm. you don't even want to like like you're almost glad you're working because yeah you have to deal with it you make a good point i never, I never even thought about that but i've never lived by the beach so and like that's what does everyone do during the summer the beach so yeah i could i could understand it being like a shit show and despising being out on the road during the time and being like please everyone go back <laughs> oh my gosh absolutely anyways people are back in school now so down here it's august is you has that always been for some reason when I lived in the Midwest when I was a kid growing up I always thought East Coast started later so I I was gonna talk about that because I thought the same thing like I always felt like well I feel now that the school year has changed than when I remember going to school but I found this cute little journal thing that that we had done um well i think oh my, gosh. my mom probably tried to keep up with it but then didn't do too well after like the first couple of years so oh. that was one of the things i was looking at it and it puts in here like the first day of school and for pretty much well up until third grade then when we stopped using it it was august it was like mid to late august okay. when we went back to school so i was surprised to see that because i i don't know for some reason i thought it was different and they had changed it I think what's different about the Florida school years is that how it can get really affected by like hurricane season. So Mm. sometimes that sort of changes with, I feel like going back to school or even like the end of the school year, it can be changed because you have to make up all those days. So it always feels different. (laughs) Okay. That's okay. Yeah. So that's one thing that's very different of how we grew up because you had hurricane days. I had snow days Mm -hmm. (laughs) and so I feel it was always like mid to late August for us going back to school and we always got out before the end of May Mm -hmm. it was always before the end of May but we would start school a little bit before Labor Day but we always got out before Memorial Day there was one year one year where we had to make up so many snow days that we had to go back for like freaking half a day oh man (laughs) yeah so there's always if we overshot like if we had took too many snow days they could add time to the the school day Mm -hmm. and that year they decided they didn't want to but I think like two years later we did we did the same thing had the same issue and they were like yeah, we're going to just add three minutes to each day or something like that to make up for it, which I do think I remember that happening one time where it was like they extended the days a little bit or something like that. Mm -hmm. Um, Because I do think they have, depending on how many off days you need, whether it's for hurricanes or snow, Mm -hmm. I do think they have the option to like not I'm, I can't think of the word like they don't have to make you do all those missed days like you know what I mean I think they get like a one or two they can make us or not make us do yeah I, I do think I remember that happening one year where we had some minutes actually added on so we would be getting home later and you're like oh my god <laughs> mm. that that five minutes it you made a difference <laughs> right because <laughs> you like go home gotta do your homework first eat dinner but everything's pushed back now and then yeah you get cut mm-hmm. into your show yeah. Ooh. So for first day of school, what do you remember like getting ready for first day of school? So I was going to say but even before like the first day of school, I think the the most fun part about back to school is the shopping, like getting to go to the store and you have that one chance to pick out these folders and pencils and whatever new thing is out to get ready for the new school year. Like I remember always having like different backpacks and lunch boxes, kind of like whatever was hot that year, like Disney princesses and stuff like that. I, I know mm-hmm. I had a lot of those. So, I mean, did you like the sh- back to school shopping or? So, I mean, for, for us, we, I mean, it was always a, I, there was three of us. It was kind of more of a, is it something we can use from last year? Mm-hmm. Do we truly need it? I mean, obviously, since my brothers had boy stuff, when I started going to school, 
we did get me like more pink stuff <laughs> and everything. So I, I wasn't being using hand-me-down um, backpacks and stuff. Although I did like start to steal my brother's backpacks because they were just cooler and <laughs> more sturdy and not, not, uh, not like, not necessarily the princess ones, but right. I don't know. It was just one of those things where some years I was, ex I think I was excited for it. Some years I just mm -hmm. kind of wasn't a little more indifferent. Right. Um, we would always, cause like folder wise of everything, I just because of just because they weren't cheap. I mean, we would always go with the cheap ones, like the 25 cent ones. Right. The one and four I, for a dollar. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> and then I would be allowed like one Lisa Frank folder because those were like $3 mm -hmm. or something like that. Because that was a little bit more fun and everything, but it was just so expensive. We couldn't do multiple ones yeah and i and i think even in my household we were the same like you look to what you had the year before and is it still mm -hmm. in decent enough shape where you didn't completely wreck it to be able to use it for another year um i think we definitely reused a lot of stuff i mean we were pretty frugal with our money i should say i mean mm -hmm. they watch what you can but i do yeah. know that we did have like some newer items as they came out you know like like I said before, like the lunch boxes and backpacks and probably a lot of like the clothing that I would wear for school. It was usually, I mean, I know I have like a lot of shirts of like the Lion King and stuff. So different mm -hmm. Disney movies, you would want those shirts. And that was kind of your wardrobe. And those would be like the few things that you got to pick out. And, you know, those would be what you picked out the day before school to what you wanted to wear. And just we're all excited about it. Yeah. So did you do new new wardrobe shopping every year? I'm sure I did because like one thing with being tall, you grow a lot. So mm -hmm. I'm sure mm -hmm. that there was sort of some changes throughout the years, but do I remember it? No, <laughs> but I, I'm sure that back to school involved maybe one new outfit or something, you know, mm -hmm. that you really needed. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of how it was for me too, because I, I was the same way. I grew very quickly. My legs grew. Like mm -hmm. I could keep the same tops for the yes. most part for a couple years, but like my pants, even before the end, like I'd get brand new pants at the beginning of um like two or three pairs so that I would have some and by like freaking January, they were high waters. They were, they turned into capris. And I just remember that and my mom be like, we just got these at the beginning of the year. I'm like, I don't know what, like, so we would stop drying the jeans. Yeah. And we would hang jeans because of that to try to let them. Mm -hmm. And literally, we would like try to stretch the jeans to make sure that they stay. Because it was just, it. I mean, it was expensive. It was well, yeah, expensive. they are. Yeah, and I can't imagine. I'm sure it was the same for me. Like constantly having to buy new pants, but because I was, I was like one thing I didn't want to be caught in was like a pair of high waters. So you know, if mm -hmm. you if all your jeans all of a sudden halfway through the school year. Well, in winter, you might be wearing shorts. I don't know. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Like that was always just, <laughs> it, it was like shoes. I, we would usually get like one new pair of shoes mm. and then whatever was needed. Now, I do have to ask, were you a crown marker or colored pencil girl? I'm pretty sure I was a crown. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was a colored pencil girl. Oh. I I don't know. I just could I didn't like the texture of crowns and I hated. I kid you not, Ashley. I hated using them. Really? Yeah. I just the waxiness. Huh. I just always hated that. Yeah, I don't even feel like colored pencils was a tool that was introduced to me until middle school. Like, I don't know. I just, really? it, yeah, I just feel like it was markers and, and crowns and probably like paint brushes and stuff. But mm -hmm. color pencils is almost something that I remember getting into more in middle school, but only for a little bit. And then I, I don't know. I still, I feel like I still would prefer the old crown today over color pencil. Yeah. I remember like kindergarten, pre K, it was definitely crowns mm -hmm. and everything. I think probably mid-elementary school was when color pencils started to be 
an option. So and that's just because, yeah, you were behind me. So that probably makes sense. Ago. I was in middle school. You would have been. Yeah. 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 But I just, once that was an option, I was like, I want the colored pencils. Like, I just liked how it looked when you colored it in and everything. I like that you could do, I felt like you could do better texture. Like, oh, you can for sure. Pencils. You get more fine tuning and stuff. But mm -hmm. I was really big into making my own cards for the holidays for like birthdays and Christmases and stuff. So my, my parents would always get like homemade cards for me. Mm -hmm. So I just remember like all the cards because I've seen them recently too. They were done in crown, you can tell. And I mean, that yeah. went on for many years. And so, yeah, that was a, that was a telling sign. I was a crown girl. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Kindergarten, first grade. It was like the 64 pack of crowns or something. Oh my like God. That. Yeah with the crown sharpener yes mm -hmm. as a part of it and you were cool if you had that i can't imagine though lugging that thing around i don't know that i ever lugged a 64 one around i don't know okay so i don't know if you remember but elementary school did you have multiple teachers or did you stay in one class and that teacher teach you most of the subjects with the exception of maybe like physical education art mm -hmm. how how did how did your school do I'm pretty positive in fourth and fifth I had some changing classes or maybe just mm -hmm. fifth um but before that no it was all just one teacher solely okay, okay. same for you that's how for the most part so uh my school that I went to elementary school was pretty small there was two classes in each grade and like i think i remember telling you it was like ki they did kindergarten through 12th of that one school no, right no. oh, oh so okay we, we'd had i had k through four was one we it was, we had our system was a little weird k through four and then you went to a different built like a different location for fifth and sixth then you went to seventh and eighth and then you went to high school confusing they've changed it since okay i'm gonna say that's a lot of like extra steps that are not necessary like <laughs> so that's so small town it was four small towns combined that made up our our school district so what do they call so what do they call the extra grade like if it's not middle elementary middle and high school what's your extra one i don't even remember what they called it exactly they didn't have like a specific is that what they consider junior high so i think how they usually consider it now is k through five mm -hmm. is elementary yeah six through eight mm -hmm. is middle school or seven through nine is junior high okay so that's where Just the junior high comes in. Yeah. 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 We never had junior high. We, yeah, we didn't either. We had middle school. So I was always, because, you know, Degrassi junior high, you're always like, mm -hmm. what's this junior high? I think I could never understand it. I was like, what is junior high? I'm like, what am I missing out on? Because like, I watched this oh. out like during high school. So I was like, what did I miss out on? Where's this junior high? Yeah. So we, my, my district had the middle school the district I actually graduated from because I transferred in high school mm. into a larger school that district did junior high for the most part they only That's switched weird. about eight years ago or something like that they mm. switched after I graduated oh well it was it was a weird concept for me too like I was very confused on that we didn't start doing class changes until you got to middle school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They did and... it. Um, sorry. They did it because mm -hmm. that was would have been fixed for you. So I was just trying to think in my head. So, yeah, we did it in fifth grade. And I remember I remember the our teachers telling us in fourth grade that get ready for next year because we're, there's going to be a, there's like a couple of teacher changes and it's going to prep you for middle school. It was something that they had incorporated mm -hmm. there for the fifth graders that you would have I don't I don't know if it was four teachers it probably was four teachers that we would rotate through um to get us ready for middle school so I thought that was kind of cool <laughs> we didn't even have that like <laughs> up until 
because like sixth grade actually they kept us pretty much with the same teacher mm. in sixth grade hmm. um it was a it was an interesting transition year like <laughs> way off topic on that but they didn't even there wasn't any prep for it really hmm. I mean we always would like music class PE and then art were the right th- or band oh were yeah the were the classes that you would be not in your in with everybody else but I mean technically that is like a rotation though so I don't know why they didn't like just make that as a universal thing I mean it is you're going to a different teacher so technically yeah. you are doing and you're doing different subjects so you're just not having the seven or eight hours of eight All different one. teachers right mm-hmm. in a single day yeah which I always I liked because mm-hmm. it gave you a chance to have like other kids yeah and you weren't stuck with the same right because if you hated time. everyone you're like well oh here's my, my ear <laughs> this is all your oh friends are in the other class you're like yes. fucking shit every, switch me <laughs> every single time like my one girl that I was I consider my best friend and everything um had known each other since was like two or three without a doubt every <laughs> single year was in the other class Every single year. I kid you not. Oh. It wasn't until, what was it, seventh grade, I think. I think seventh grade, we had one class together. One class. Oh my God. What are the odds? <laughs> I was like, how the hell does this, how the hell has this happened? We had, of course, my my sophomore year in high school, I had like three classes with her. Well, that was the year that I transferred Oh, to a different school. Oh man. And I was like, mm. I was like, you gotta be freaking kidding me. <laughs> like, really? We it, it's taken us pretty much this long to have a class together, really. Cause like even in like eighth grade, we I think had maybe one or two. Ninth grade was like one or two. And I was just like, I think I actually had lunch with her finally. Oh my god. I was like, <laughs> Well, that is the best like- time to have with someone I mean because that is even worse is that if you don't have enough classes with them is when your lunches are separate and you're like who the fuck am I gonna sit with now (laughs) well that's the thing like so elementary school lunch like you it was you ate by your class yeah you ate by grade um right you're grade and then within your class your class had one table so it's not like you could go and mingle yeah, no, the way that I, mine was, it was classes. I mean, that for elementary sucks. school, maybe, maybe by like fourth or fifth, it might have changed. But I know like third and under, it was you go to your table and you. No, not for us. Oh, wow. Okay. Not for us. It Damn. was, uh, there's like seven tables out and everything. And no, you could, that was one of the times that you could sit with whoever. Hmm. Wow. Now, like if you're. If your class had gotten in trouble with your teacher, they might segregate you guys over to and everything. But no, that was one where we could sit where we wanted, but we were, we were pretty much timed. Yes. Yeah. You get in there and the the stopwatch goes and you better hurry. (laughs) If you're last in line and it's taking forever you have to like gobble your food in like two seconds like your lunch is over <laughs> i fucking hated that when you got to lunch late because you know you got held up in the class before and mm-hmm. then you're booking it there and you're at the back of the line for like 15 minutes yes even throughout the entire school time school frame from fucking kindergarten to 12th grade it was like and it got shorter like i think in elementary school it was like a half an hour or so from the time that your lunch started to when it ended. Mm. But by the time I was in high school, it was literally 20 minutes. Yeah, I do. Th- I do think I remember them. It being shorter. And that. Ooh. I, oh, my God. Going, that's so short of time to think about now. Because you only have like when you th- truly think about it, you only have about 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. Because it takes. By the time you mingle all the way there. <laughs> yeah. Like. I just remember that was one of the things like element, even in elementary school, they pretty much taught you. And my least favorite was when um, 
the lunch monitor, like the teachers watching lunch, wouldn't we had to be we had to ask to be able to go like dump our plate. Oh, really? And they would some yeah, they would sometimes be like, you need to you need to finish that. What? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. what were they going to like? No, you stay here all day. What? Yeah. What? You stay until you make a dent in that food. And so, of course, it would be like you take your spoon and you like maneuver it around. We Ashley, I kid you not. She would say, hey, she was just trying to make sure we got like our nutrition and everything, obviously. Um, I mean, looking back ooh, at lunches now, aren't uh, that nutritious. <laughs> but wait, were some... you a buy school lunch or a bring a school lunch girl for buy elementary school, school? For elementary school? school lunch. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so see, that's the difference. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I would definitely bring yes. my lunch. I very rarely would bring my lunch. If it was like something that the, like the school lunch menu if it was something that was i just absolutely hated oh my god I those school lunch, lunch menus i love those yes it was oh so cute god. like what do we have for the month <laughs> exactly but we would literally take our milk jug our little milk cartons oh it would drink the milk open it all the way and stuff food in there Oh my god, I can't believe they made kids do that. That's terrible. <laughs> what a traumatizing oh. lunch period. <laughs> I'm kind of glad I had to sit with your class and there wasn't like any... <laughs> I remember certain aspects of it and so so you never ate school lunch so not I don't recall buying school lunch until well I mean I would have bought in school lunch randomly throughout the year but mm -hmm. prob probably four days out of the week I had a pack lunch you know it might have just been a day you know on the calendar oh that's a day that I really want to have whatever so that may have been the day but even just like when I got to the point of not packing a lunch I don't even think that was until high school like I don't remember not having a packed lunch until high school because that's when I started to buy whatever because you know high school had like cooler food and stuff so it was always like oh wow I'm gonna have fancier food to eat for lunch now <laughs> fancier food oh, i yeah. mean that's yeah. what it seemed like <laughs> so okay yeah so the high school i started at not so much oh okay the high school i graduated <laughs> from had options mm -hmm. like that high school had a lot more options was there a specific school lunch that you did you saw on the counter and you're like, I'm not taking a lunch for that day. <laughs> oh, I'm sure there was. Do I remember it? No. But don't. I'm, oh I'm trying gosh. to think of like a food that I would have probably the pizza. I don't know. I just something about the pizza. I did miss that when I transferred because it was a different type of pizza at the school I graduated from. And then the one because it, it wasn't to, it wasn't Tony's pizza. We mm. always have Tony's Pizza at the school I spent most of my time at. Pizza, definitely. Mm -hmm. What was it? There, what did they, did they call it burritos? It was almost like a little bit of, like, it was like a burrito with cheese sauce. I don't know if I ever had that. It was, oh man, like the cheese sauce, you'd always like try to sweet, like sweeten up the, um, the cook. And be like, can I get like just a little extra cheese sauce, please? I know they had like fish sticks. Mm. Did, but I never had those. Mm -mm. That would be the day I'd bring my lunch. Yeah, you ain't eating or you bring a lunch. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the chili. So the chili meal that they would always do for ours mm. was a little bowl of chili. We'd always have, it would always be chili, carrots. And then like a cinnamon roll or like a, like an actual cinnamon roll or a roll like with cinnamon. I, I can't describe it. Like almost like a Hawaiian roll, but it oh. was like cinnamon flavored. Hmm. Uh, That's a very yeah. interesting. That must be a Midwest thing because that did not it, happen in Florida. <laughs> girl. Well, I mean, of course, you guys don't wouldn't be eating chili down here. Like that is a Midwest thing. You do chili when it gets cold out. But did you ever have the school breakfasts? Mm -hmm. So it would depend on the day. I would always try to get it if, because I, elementary school, I literally lived 
there was like a, a, a little field between my house and the elementary school. Oh, wow. I was trying to find see if I could go through some of the pictures um, in the last week, but I couldn't find any that like showed that. I may have to... Um... I probably live like a very similar distance though, because our neighborhood was attached to the school basically. So yeah. We just biked to school when we were there. Did you I bike walked. or you walked? Yeah. I would walk. Yeah. Literally would just I could have walked. walked. Um, so it would be like, okay, do you want to get up and do you want cereal at home or do you want whatever? Mm. And be, my favorite was always the chocolate long johns. What? what which was it's it's a donut. Ooh. And it's like I guess in a sense like an eclair, I think maybe. Is what they call them down here. You had that for it's... breakfast. <laughs> Bad. Yeah, that's that's the type of meal that they would give us. But it's like it's a longer donut. It's not the circular one. Mm -hmm. Um, a longer donut and just has the chocolate oh. frosting. Hmm. No, in no filling, no filling. Oh, that's Thank weird. God. You don't like the filling? <laughs> no, 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 no. That was one of them. There's a few, but I think they had like little what are they called like little stick thing like the cinnamon sticks or pancake French sticks or stick. French ten yeah French toast sticks. I think I remember those, and that nasty yeah. milk. <laughs> I, think I, think, about I, I think that's why I can't drink regular milk anymore. Honestly, the milk that we drank during school was like lunchtime. We would even have milk. L breakfast, lunch, and in elementary school we didn't have any other options yeah i can't remember any option i think i was something that i saw like a meme or whatever about how nowadays we can't leave the house or go anywhere without having like a water bottle of some sort but like what the fuck did we do in elementary school we didn't have no tag along we drank water, out bottle. water fountain <laughs> yeah which was nasty and you had to wait in line and then it was your turn and you had like two seconds oh you gotta go like it was literally was like tiny. seriously yeah it's like one two and someone would like go <laughs> it's like i'm fucking especially after physical education oh like, I'm that's the worst like i just ran in freaking pants <laughs> and in a freaking in a freaking sweater because my mom wanted me to look cute today oh god day. yeah like how did we stay hydrated we at didn't. all growing up because we got home you sure as heck didn't go reach for a, gra a glass of water you had like a juice box waiting for you or yeah yeah and so nowadays it's like i drink so many glasses of water like what the fuck <laughs> but you do know that like you could drink too much water oh yeah and that can cause issues mm -hmm. i mean fuck though like i don't know how many because we would also did you guys ever in the morning we this was always a part of the morning routine at school was roll call Mm -hmm. and telling and saying whether you wanted whether you were doing a hot or sack lunch oh yeah and if you were doing a hot lunch what milk you wanted did you want chocolate or white yep <laughs> and if you were going to be doing breakfast the next day yep i forgot and about that it wasn't until you got to like fourth grade that you could order two milks for lunch. Mm, ooh. And that's a little too much of milk, though. But like, if you're fucking thirsty, like. True. That must have been why we you... drank so much of that nasty milk. Yeah. We were fucking thirsty. Oh, like, I see what they did to us. You get like a two second water break during the day, and then you get like a 30 minute lunch where it's like, here's some milk rehydrate with yeah. that <laughs> but the thing is it, it what's interesting to me is how much milk i drank in elementary school yeah my bones <laughs> Mine didn't, too. that didn't do <laughs> shit for my bones <laughs> i i started kindergarten with a broken wrist oh. that we didn't know about oh god <laughs> And I was coming home every single day going, Mom, my wrist hurts. Mom, my wrist hurts. Because I, I was playing monkey bars. <gasps> I fucking love the monkey bars. Oh, my God. Yeah, you don't know was, those things as a kid. Yeah. And, I mean, we sh we probably should have gone to the doctor when I'd fallen off my bike and everything. But we didn't until a week later after my first week of kindergarten. <laughs> Aww. And sure enough, it was broken. But yeah, like, I mean, I broke multiple other bones 
when I was younger, that milk didn't do shit. No. Was it even milk? Mm. It was mostly water. <laughs> mm. It yeah. had to have been. Well, I mean, yeah, we got our water somehow. It was it was water with a hint of carton. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Ugh. I don't. That's like one thing of thinking about going back to school. I the lunch. I don't want to encounter that lunch again. Mm -mm. Like I said, there's certain aspects of it, like certain meals that I'm kind of, I do kind of sometimes try to recreate just because I'm like, that just hit the spot some days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there was a a juice, like a frozen Welch's. <gasps> yeah, where you can like juice. squeeze it to like loosen yes. up. Mm -hmm. yep. That shit was fire. <laughs> like that was always good. I don't know. School, I don't feel like school is the same now as it was for us no it's definitely very different i mean i personally couldn't even imagine going to school nowadays like with mm -hmm. the amount of shit that's going on in the world like the the fact that the kids have to now think of that about that going into school you know and that never once crossed our minds of like what then like you know school shootings and just how bad like the different um do you did things you guys that i'm going on politically what you guys didn't do so maybe it was because of the fact that i was in the midwest and we were closer i mean in a sense closer to colorado mm. and columbine but i remember in second or third grade we started having mr green drills mr green has entered the building and that was a lockdown oh class. wow yeah, we never did and those. It was a that I think so. I think that that started happening right after Columbine, which was what ninety seven. Mm hmm. I think so. Yeah, because I remember being. I remember doing. It, I don't know if we because it was April of ninety seven that it Columbine happened. I don't think we did them until the following school year. Mm hmm. Because I think 97, I would have been third grade or second grade. I remember us doing them for at least my third and fourth grade years in elementary school, hmm. where it was, they'd get on the loudspeaker. Mr. Green has entered the building. We always had somebody, one kid would run, turn off the lights, lock the door. We would then push our desks and we would get in into the corner. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. I guess it's it's one of those things where those I it really shows like the different areas that you were in, mm -hmm. like what where what you had to experience. Right. Yeah. Exactly. What was going on politically? What was going on locally in your community? Like you know, I, there definitely are a lot of factors that go into it. That you know, I mean, we could probably interview a hundred different people, and they would probably mm -hmm. all have varying responses as to what their schools did for different lockdowns because i'm sure there are even other ones we don't even know about or have ever done yeah have you so you guys never did a lockdown drill like that i'm trying to think i don't really recall anything like a lockdown drill we would have done you know like the tornado or whatever warning type drills whoa, whoa, whoa. so did you do a tornado drill yeah tornado drills yeah mm -hmm. fire drills think... <laughs> well fire yeah. yeah i didn't i didn't think that down here in florida they did the tornado drills i think like in probably in any area where a yeah. tornado could develop at any time because it doesn't have to be a hurricane related you probably have to do it but i don't know because yeah. because that's cause cause i do guys... remember like you know you duck and mm -hmm. get under something so like Up i know we did yeah so mm -hmm. I think we even did it like on the bus too. We did like a bus drill. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I never did that, but we had we had the tornado drills and they would always they would always run the we we would always be the first Monday of the month or something because that's when hmm. the um town would run the actual uh, the, um testing of the tornado drill because we have sirens in Kansas. Yeah, we did not have those. <laughs> We've got sirens. It was one. But I was also like, okay, so we go out into the freaking hall. We like line the hall, line the bathroom, 
like the areas it's just like yeah it's so stupid it you're done like, <laughs> done twister showed us that that does not work <laughs> exactly you need underground facilities mm -hmm. that's the only way and schools we're not going to build an underground area large enough for all the kids like even though it should have been mandatory but they're not well, they're not going to <laughs> I mean, even the, in the areas that you can, because like here in Florida, you can't. Right. The ground doesn't allow that. But like Kansas, you can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was always fun stuff. So before even going to your first day of school, do you remember the uh, meet your teacher days? No, we really, I don't think. Really? I honestly don't think we really had those. Huh wow maybe it's maybe it's just because it's different for me having my older brothers and like kindergarten there was only one kindergarten teacher at our school most of the time my brothers my brother would have one teacher and like my oldest would have one teacher and they my, already uh, met him technically brother. so i already knew most of the teachers um going into school and it was always one of those, okay, am I going to have the same one as Nathan or Eric? It kind of flip-flopped, honestly. <laughs> it was weird how how that worked. I, I'm sure that we probably did, but again... It wasn't I, a sure big was part like actual, of... It was, there was a formal thing right. for us since we, since we already knew. I think it was more of a, you've already met them. Yeah. We're, we're not going to go... No, that makes complete sense. That. Like, absolutely. Like, it's a waste of everyone's time to mm -hmm. to do that. I mean, for but for me and my sister, we're, you know, I was in elementary school while she was in high uh, middle school. And then by the time I got to middle school, she was already off in high school. So the teachers would have been forever changing. So we always mm -hmm. were in there every year to meet the teachers. And especially when you have the, the block classes. So now you're getting to meet like four different teachers. And, you know. That, I'm trying to still think. I really don't think that that school district really did much of that they did for the like i said i think they did for the younger mm -hmm. like your elementary school would have those days but not even like middle school hmm. high school yeah i don't know if high school you would have i don't yeah. think there's that meet the teacher but middle school definitely i remember yeah for sure being big for me i think i enjoyed doing those yeah i think it was just kind of more of a yeah, you get what you get. Kind of. I mean, well, <laughs> technically, yeah, you do. So but, it's kind but of you like, know what, but like <laughs> you're you're stuck either way, whether you meet them ahead of time or not. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, as far as like first day memories or, you know, kind of how I was feeling or anything like that, I did ask my mom, but she said she didn't really know. And that for the most part, I always seemed to enjoy going back to school. It wasn't like, oh, back to school, like, uh, you know, mm -hmm. how I how I feel now for all the traffic as an adult. But going back to school as, you know, my younger self, I always was looking forward to it. And I would sometimes help, like, pick an outfit out or whatever. But I was never, because, you know, that's always, like, a big thing is, like, people talking about how, oh, I sent my kid off to the first day of school and, oh, it was so sad and, uh, but, like, for me, I was always happy. I wasn't like, oh, bye, mom. Like, mm -hmm. bye, I'm going to school. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, I think for for me, it was always a, it gave me something to do and a chance to be around kids my own mm -hmm. age. Yep. Because even though I didn't really ever fit in very well and dealt with a lot of bullying and issue, other issues, it was still the so socialization. Mm-hmm. Because during the summer, most of the time, I was just with my brothers. I mean, we would play summer sports and everything. So I would have some some interaction with kids my own age. But most, but after a while, I started like being pulled into the higher higher sports. Mm. Like, so I was actually playing with older girls mm. and wasn't playing with kids my own age. And so I guess... And I don't know, maybe that also is part of what caused a lot of the rift between like me and making friends, having friends, whatever. Mm -hmm. For the most part, I think for like the first few years of elementary school, I I think I was definitely excited and everything. Um, I think towards the end of elementary school 
it kind of started to dawn on me that I'm, I wasn't, I, I, I started to not really be interested in, I liked the, I liked school itself learning, mm -hmm. but I wanted away from that, those people <laughs> mm. to say the least. Well, so. makes, yeah, that's understandable. I mean, I did not enjoy going to school for a lot of years either. So I think we have mm. that in common that it's the learning part is yes, fun, but mm. if I could have done it from home, that might've been nice. Oh. Were you ever, ever like jealous or wanted to be one of those kids that was homeschooled? Oh, starting in, I think it was second or third grade. I would spend the weeks leading up to school begging. Oh my gosh. Oh. And wanting to be and pushing for it. Mm -hmm. And it was a continual situation where I kept on wanting to. I was I was at a higher level on a lot of things. I tested at higher levels mm -hmm. than my grade. And I think that was also partly because like when my brothers were doing their homework, I'd be sitting at the table too. So I'd be listening, I'd pick up. Mm -hmm. So I, I wanted so bad, so, so, so bad. And the best I got was transferring from the small school. If I would have stuck with my class um, that I originally started with, mm -hmm. It would have been less than 100 people in my graduating class. The class that I did graduate with, we had 635. Mm. I thrived at the larger school. I like enjoyed more, mm -hmm. was able to push myself more. It wasn't necessarily in a sense like easy A's. The smaller school kind of was almost one of those where you did the work and you got straight A's almost, it felt like. Whereas this other, the school I graduated from was a bit more, they pushed you, it felt like a bit more. Now, granted, teachers at both both districts were great. I'm not dogging on that, but I just didn't thrive in the small school atmosphere. So yes, I wanted to be homeschooled. I tried for a long time and my parents just they they kept on trying to oh you need to be socialized you need to socialize with people you need to social I'm like what for eight hours a day with people I can't that don't want to even talk to me and then I was like what else is keeping me from being homeschooled they're like listen we have to work we yeah. have to, you've got two older brothers and yourself that we also have to provide for and like of course as a kid you don't understand no. that. so once we got to the point in sophomore year where it was a I need to transfer I was it was a I need homeschool or I need to transfer situation um or like online school because online mm. had come about yeah they're like all right we'll transfer you so long story short yes I did want to be homeschooled sorry uh, <laughs> Like I said, lots of baggage when it comes to school. What about you? Did you ever want to be homeschooled? I would I would say by the time I got into high school, definitely. I, I know I asked my parents, I'm sure, too many times. But before that, no, I, I think I enjoyed because I was at a very like small school for my elementary and middle school. Um, so I think I really enjoyed that environment. But then once high school came around, everything changed, of course, you know puberty and all that kind of stuff and that was when I was like okay don't care for school anymore <laughs> mm -hmm. hey I understand absolutely understand just kind of thinking you know how nowadays they parents will do those like boards every first day of school that has like their kids name mm -hmm. their school their teacher yeah their grade favorite color whatever and what they want to be when they grow up mm-hmm so do you remember what you wanted to be when you were in elementary school? So instead of those boards, this is what we mm -hmm. used for that, which it does have pretty much a lot of what you said. Um, it would ask you kind of like, who, what, who are the new friends that you, you know, made? What activities were you doing? Different achievements and awards. And then when you grow up, what do you want to be? For some reason, for, for me, I mostly always selected doctor. 
Like that was my big thing, like doctor and movie TV star. So those were the two choices and boy, weren't those very wrong. <laughs> so, okay. Okay. I'll, we're going to dive into this a little bit more because that's very interesting. So if you had gone into movie TV, what would your, would your go-to genre be? I don't even know. Like probably as far as like what I can do or like what I would want to Either if I was or, in like, that other you, if you okay so like all of us have imaginations and as a kid you always like put yourself in like your shoes like your shows yeah. and acted it out or whatever and so as a kid since that's when you were saying that what were you always like putting yourself into more comedies dramas you know that's action? a good question like I I, I really don't know as like a five, six-year-old, what those shoes would have been. Now, if you get mm -hmm. into a little, you know, a few years later, Mary Kay and Ashley come up like immediately, like that's, that's who I could envision. But for the first couple of years that I had supposedly marked that, that doesn't really make any sense to relate that to. And I don't know why or what I was watching that would made me go like, oh, I want to be, you know what I mean? Like, that's what I'm curious mm -hmm. about as far as like, what did I see that in inspired that thought? Okay. What about doctor? So there's lots of different doc types of doctors. <laughs> right. Was, yeah. <laughs> was there a specific type that you wanted to be? You know what I think though is, is frustrating about that question because as a kid, you know, we all did it. Like I think every year, pretty much we always had some things sometime during the year where it'd be like, okay, some sort of test. And it's going to tell you what you're supposed to be when you grow up, you know, those things. Mm -hmm. But if you look at the list that they give you, as far as like things that you know, you want to be when you grow up, they're very, it's like astronaut, a professional athlete, <laughs> a business executive, a lawyer, like not one thing on here is like, well, I'm a cashier at Target. You know, I'm a real estate person, you know, like nothing mm -hmm. to where probably majority of the population businesses that they work, you know, yeah, there's mm -hmm. a little spot that says other, but as a kid, what, what is other, you know, you don't know. Yeah. So it, they should have given us more realistic choices in these books. And we may have actually ended up achieving being a doctor instead because we were like, well, these are very mediocre. <laughs> like I could mm. be better, you know, like, oh, yeah. like reverse psychology here. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Like, I mean, I never in a million years would have dreamt I got to, I was, I would go into the different positions I have. Do you remember what you marked off as? Again, I, I, so we didn't have those types of books, but I always, for probably most of my elementary school time, I wanted to be a vet. Mm -hmm. And then when Mary Kate Nash, when I got really into Mary Kate and Ashley, Mary Kate, I believe at one point wanted to be a marine biologist. Oh. So of course, I also <laughs> wanted to be one too. <laughs> And then it went back to vet. And then I found out how much science was involved. And I said, fuck that. You know, I'm pretty sure that's the reason why when I was in high school, I took a marine biology class is because mm -hmm. of them. Now that now I'm yeah. thinking about it, I, I guarantee that's why. Because I, I was a big animal lover. No, don't get me wrong. But oh, yeah, that would have been probably what was like, oh, I should do that class. We didn't have that kind of an option. So, like, I legitimately, science was one of my least favorite subjects just because yeah, yeah. it didn't click with me as much. Mm -hmm. um, I wasn't bad at it. Like, it just... Same. I could read it and I can answer questions on the test, but it just didn't... I didn't necessarily comprehend. Mm -hmm. I was test good for it. And so literally in high school, my my graduating high school, my senior year, they put me in anatomy mm. originally. I kid you not, my junior year, I had looked through what I needed to be able to graduate properly. And I look at it and go, I can do a different class other than anatomy next year. And so when they had given me my schedule, I was like, mm -mm, mm -mm, I'm not doing anatomy. I went to my guidance counselor and we were going over class schedule, like classes for the following year and everything. And she was like, okay, science. 
So I've got you in anatomy and this, it's going to, there's, but I've got like third, fourth or fifth hour of the day. Mm -hmm. Which, which one do you want? I was like, I don't want anatomy. She's like, well, but you need, I was like, actually I can take geology astrology because Mm -hmm. that does fall into the line. And she's like, she looked at, she's like, you don't want anatomy? I was like, (laughs) no, I couldn't handle it. And this was one of the turning points of where I was like, there's no way in hell I'm going to be able to be a vet. They would dissect cats Mm -hmm. in our anatomy class. That's why I didn't take it. Yeah. I couldn't. Mm -mm. I was like, there's, there's no way. I even had uh, what sucked is that geology astrology class. I had it third hour on one day of the week, it was lunch hour, but on most of the time it was right before lunch hour. And so when they were doing the dissection, oh my gosh, our hall oh, it was smells the worst. horrendous of the formaldehyde mm-hmm. and just so bad. And I'm like, I'm so glad that I'm not in there. Oh yeah. Because I couldn't do it. No, I I know to. I couldn't either. I was I was too big of an animal lover at that point, and mm-hmm. like just the thought of that that's it's just disgusting to think of that they did that. I can't. Like I would literally have to like I'd be flunked. I'd I'd have to flunk. And I I had looked at my guidance counselor. I was like I cannot do that. This is a better alternative for me. So we're going with geology and astrology. I love astrology, so that works perfectly. Mm -hmm. Geology, eh, but I'll get through it. (laughs) Good times. Mm -hmm. Was there a specific subject that you liked the most? I think reading for me was always like my favorite. I know I had a very like high level of reading, so they would always, I'd always be like, oh, you're in the first grade level. No, you're in the second grade level, whatever it is. So you're always like ahead of all the other students. Mm -hmm. But as far as, I don't know. I don't know that I really liked anything that much. Like everything was just kind yeah. of like, eh, to me, because I got into horses very quickly and all the subjects of school just kind of didn't matter anymore, you know? Mm-hmm. So it was like, okay, when can I go back home and be around the horses? <laughs> so with reading, did you guys have an accelerated reader program where you'd like read a book and then take a take test mm-hmm. and yep. get prizes or anything? Mm-hmm. Oh, Yeah. I was the same way with reading, way above my reading, my grade level. And I remember in first or second grade, I I think it was first grade, we read, my mom and I read, I think it was Voyages of Dr. Doolittle. And that was like one of the thickest books and had like the mo- one of the most points. Ooh. And I got all the questions right. And I went from being like top 30 of the school to being number one for a week. Wow. I was like a first or second grader and I beat all the fourth graders and everything. And the, they got pissed. They were pissed. They're like, oh, of course. This first grader is beating us. And of course, I got like knocked out the next round. And oh. like, but I still stayed in the top 10 for most of the year. Hmm. That's cool. So, yeah, I don't know that we did anything exactly like that, but we definitely had programs to to test where your reading levels were at and and to make sure that they moved you up accordingly. But I think what what probably what benefit both of us is just that we had older siblings. So Mm -hmm. I remember reading like a I, you know, I got the hand-me-down, so pretty much all the books she was mm-hmm. done with, I would get them. And of course, they're going to be a bit more geared towards her age level. So I do think that probably is what helped me. Yeah, I still remember I had to get special permission to give in to the librarian to check out some of those books. <laughs> because she was like, you can't read those. Those are too too complicated too complex for you that sounds like a matilda situation here (laughs) it was honestly wow and we literally my mom had to write a letter to the principal and asking for the librarian to allow me to check out some of these Hmm. bigger books like little women voyages of dr Doolittle, that were geared towards 
at least put at like a third or fourth grade reading level. Mm-hmm. And I was wanting to check them out in first grade. It was that like she had to read letters saying that she would be the one re- we would be reading them together. It would be to help broaden my reading ability. You know, that is so strange that they wouldn't allow a library to promote reading and allowing kids the ability to to check out any book there. Like they should be encouraging them to try for the harder level, because if you're constantly stuck at the same level, same level the whole time, how are you getting any better? Like, that's crazy. I mean, I'm, and I'm sure my library probably did this did the same. I do think I remember like the little things in the books that would say like third grade level reading or, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So that that makes sense. But damn, yeah. like, why are we holding kids back? Like what? Exactly. <laughs> and now they're like and banning books. Yeah. <laughs> so. or, or allowing books that are in elementary schools that are pretty much like fucking porn. <laughs> yeah. Take me back to Little Women, Voyages of Dr. Doolittle. I mean, those weren't as graphic and No. Yeah, that was that was one of the things we looking back at now it is like why were they holding me back? Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter that I wanted to read something that was above my reading level, lo- like my f- average reading level. Why hold hold them back? But and now it like brings it all full circle because now that scene in, in Matilda makes so much sense to me now. Like, okay, that was very, it's a very realistic scene. Just mm-hmm. now tying it all together. That's crazy. Yeah, it it really wow. is. It's it's it sucks. Now I don't necessarily blame the librarian per se. I blame the system. It's a system mm-hmm. because that's who, like, they're being told to run it a certain way did you ever speaking of reading so I don't know if you ever in your elementary school days had if your elementary school had a program where like the older kids would come in and read to the younger kids I want to say yes Mm -hmm. like I know when I got into later years like I could be someone that goes to read to other classes but I'm trying to remember if when I was younger that ever happened I would I would say yes but I don't know yeah. I don't remember doing the reading when I got to those that grade, but I do remember being read to. <laughs> I was a little shit. Let me tell you. I was a little shit with this. The my buddy, my older kid who would read to me, hated having to read the Dr. Seuss's. So what did I grab every single time? Ooh. I was a little shit. <laughs> nice. Every single time. Every single time. I was just a little shit. It. <laughs> and it was like, I think my favorite was green eggs and ham for some mm, reason. Yes. And so it was, I would most of the time be that one. And she would just be like, I think at one point she even was like, had talked to my teacher. And my teacher was like, April, stop. Like, I'm like, but I like this one. Oh, it's my I was favorite. Just being shit. Oh, of course. Bad. We were supposed to pick a book that could be read in like a certain amount of time. Mm-hmm. And that's a small book. And most of the Dr. Seuss books you can read in 10 to 15 minutes. But if you have to read it out loud in 10 to 15 minutes, that's where it gets complicated. <laughs> like reading in your mind, you're fine. You're fine reading it out loud fuck yeah i didn't think about that it is a little bit trickier mm-hmm. oh that would suck Ooh, april karma's coming back that for you on horrible. that one <laughs> i was horrible i was absolutely a little shit with that i feel bad now but like i also kind of laugh at it it's like oh yeah oh was, yeah i was in first fucking grade oh, but hilarious on. i'm sure all the kids like, loved it <laughs> yeah got that's lots and lots of school memories oh yeah this is just part one of school there'll be lots more school (laughs) oh yeah we'll share a couple of our uh embarrassing uh class photos (laughs) i think i burned most of my yearbooks what really like literally like i think i got rid of them like i don't know not necessarily burn them but i do think i got i just got rid of them 
I was like, why do I still have these? Power. That gives you a little insight on like the mm-hmm. shit that was going on and everything and how much I loved those first seven years or whatever it was. <laughs> I mean, the oh yearbooks, God. for the most part, were kind of shit back then. So they're like, mm-hmm. you're not missing much. <laughs> no, no, I'm fine with not having them. Well, for not well for us, it's not back to school, but it's back to work. So mm. <laughs> we don't get those summer vacations. That is one thing that I'm kind of I don't really like vacation. Like school vacations don't mean anything to me now because we don't have those. I know that is, that is one thing that school had right though. You get all that. You get to have like a couple months of a year, just yeah. doing whatever the fuck you want. I got bored really easily though. <laughs> like I said, that was the that was one thing that even if I didn't really care a lot of times and about the fact that I didn't really have people to hang out with or whatever. Now I'm not trying to say like I didn't have anybody to hang out with. Like it just wasn't always consistent. I did like having stuff to do. Mm-hmm. Summer yeah. got summer was more depressing for me with the sense that like it was especially not being able to drive. Once you can drive, you're fine. Anyways. Anyways. Until next time. We're 90s noise. Peace. Peace out, bitch. <laughs>